So I actually want us to, to, to hold up a little bit before we do this thing where we start blaming ourselves. Like, I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it. Because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. We're moving, we're taking care of kids, but our food quality suffers. We are living in the Trump era. And look, those policies kill our people. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower, even when we're following the diet than our white women counterparts. And what, and what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Well, that's about enough of that racism. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but if the diet doesn't work for you then it just doesn't work for you but that would be using common sense I know that's hard to find these days as the world is run and overrun by morons which is not race so as some of you know, my wife mixed uh, multiple races, as am I, obviously multiple whiter races. So you have me, Irish, Dutch, Cherokee, Blackfoot, amongst other things. And then you have her, Italian, Filipino, Black, they call the Filipino part Asian, but that's just Filipino to me. Um, I don't really consider that Asian. She also has Cherokee in her. Uh, I don't know what else. There's, there's so much. We're all mixed, people. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Look yourself in the goddamn mirror and say, are you stupid? Because you probably are. If you have to, if you're too dumb to ask yourself that, then you definitely are. No, seriously. This shit... <sighs> Stupidity is literally tearing America apart. Stupidity. It takes stupid people to push stupid shit. I grew up in the 90s where we didn't give a shit. All our shows, both cartoon and real shows were multi-racial shows and no one mentioned them. They didn't. Hey Arnold, the two main characters, a football-headed white dude and a, I don't even know what you call how his afro was. It was like straight up. Black kid. Keenan and Kel, one of my favorite fucking shows growing up. All that, where Keenan and Kel originated. Multiple black kids, multiple white kids, Asian kids. We mixed in and did not bitch. Now, whenever Trump talked about the border issues and illegal immigrants, he didn't ever say anything about anybody black. It didn't happen. I've even watched a rally where he literally took a... United States veteran from the audience who was asking him a question and he gave her a job. She was black. Not African American. She is American. Just like you and I. We are Americans. Does not matter what color you are. If you have to put a color on anything, you are racist. If it takes a color for you to say something about someone, that makes you racist. For you to constantly point out that white people this, white people that, white people this, you're racist. That's what racism is. You constantly are pushing stupidity, but you're the stupid one. It, it doesn't make sense. You're claiming everyone's doing this, this, and this to you while you do that to everyone. How the 
fuck are you this stupid? How? I'm literally confused as to how people are this dumb. I'm on multiple different groups throughout social medias and video I don't even know what you call them, video pages and, and, and just all kinds of different stuff through cultures and things I like, things I don't like, just things I'm trying to keep up with. And the racism does not come from where they say it comes from. 95% of racism I see is black people accusing white people of being racist. Followed by, you're white, you can't say this. You're white, you can't do this. You're white, your opinion doesn't matter. Literally comments like, we shouldn't have these conversations in presence of others. In parentheses, others. That's racist. If I said that about any race, period. Racist. I'm a bald white dude. You don't think I'm an easy fucking target? Soon as someone loses a conversation with me or an argument or a debate, however you want to put it, boom. You're a white supremacist because you're a skinhead. I am neither. I'm a bald dude who was stressed all my life due to how I grew up. I did not grow up with money. I grew up literally pulling a wagon, a red wagon full of wood that I usually had to chop too and stacked it in ricks, which is four by eight multiple ricks on my neighbor's front porch. That is how I grew up. Stacking wood, cutting wood, constantly. Moved into concrete work. Moved into lawn work. Then all the jobs throughout my teen years and adult years up until I said, fuck it, and I just do my own thing. But this did not come by being given to me. I had to work. You fucking cry all you goddamn want that the world is against you. It is. It's against me too. But I don't bitch all day. All right, yes, I do. But I still fucking work about it. <laughs> I get up off my ass and I make shit happen. I pay my bills. The government doesn't pay my bills. I pay my taxes. The government doesn't pay my taxes. I have to work. I have five children. I have a wife, a home, property, a shop, a business. I have to work. All of that from working. You don't get to sit on your ass and claim disability for not having any disabilities. For being fat is not a fucking disability. Being fat sucks. I've been there. I've been up and down. I had to work my ass off to lose weight. I have a very slow metabolism. And I have... A sweet tooth. So I'm fucked unless I work out. I have to work for it. Sitting here saying someone's diet doesn't work for you and that makes that racist? You're stupid. Sitting here saying your stress makes you gain weight? It probably fucking does. But if you're stressed because you think the world's racist against you, you're an idiot. Because they're fucking not. If there are racist people that don't like you, so be it. There's a shitload of racist people that don't like me because I'm white, dumbass. Fuck you people are dumb. And don't go there with the you people shit. I already know. I already fucking know. Not you people as in any color. You people as in stupid people. Anyone under that fucking mark. If you are stupid, doesn't matter what color you are. You are in this agenda and you are fucking dumb. Dumb people are booming because the world is adapting to catering to your lazy asses. Stupid people cry about shit, whine about shit, get whatever the fuck they want. Oh, you're bullying me. Uh, you got to do this instead of bull. No. Bullying is literally the way of the world. Countries bully other countries into doing what they need to do. Countries were made by taking them from other people that live there. Every one ever. That's how that worked. Sadly, humans do that. They consumed around the globe until nations were established around this motherfucker. As dumb as fucking shit as it is and 
free as we're not, that's just how it is. And it takes a dumb motherfucker to sit here and say everyone's racist against them. No, motherfucker. I could send a fucking white dude over to any Muslim country and they're probably going to get killed on the streets. Period. Because guess what? They're the racists. People that just constantly hate for no reason. They just hate constantly. All day, every day. You don't like my religion. You're not a part of it. I hate you. They will literally go out of their way to kill anyone who's homosexuality, homosexuality, who is a gay person. We'll just put it simple. They will go out of their way to kill a gay person. They will go out of their way to kill a white person. They will go out of their way to kill a black person. That is how they are. People in our country who pretend to be Muslim have no idea what that is. Go live in a Muslim country and watch them. Watch how they act. They will stone you to death for so many things. You can beat your wife. You can have multiple wives. They can't back talk. They can't show skin or they can stone them to death. That is what real issues are. But fuck all that because it's got nothing to do with America. We are in America where we're all fucking slaves. The only people that are truly hating on everyone are the ones in charge. The ones who know we are the slaves and we should stay in our place or they will shoot us. With those guns that they preach we shouldn't have. It's a finicky world we live in and unfortunately a sad one where stupidity is vast. Like, it, it amazes me how dumb people are. It really does. Like, I'm shocked half the time when I read shit and then I'm like, well, I shouldn't be shocked because I fucking see it every day. Like, I'm in fucking Facebook jail over and over and over and over and over for things that don't make fucking sense. So it's just constant censorship by more stupid people. You think you're smart because you went to college? That doesn't make you smart. It makes you educated in a book. It's what they tell you. That doesn't mean anything in that book is true, especially if it's history. <clears throat> what has the past five years proven to us that humans will erase history very quickly and pretend it never happened. I'm sorry, but if I put it in your face that, hey, there was a time in America where some people did have slaves, not all of them, by far not all of them. The majority of people did not and were against it, and they were white. Still to this day, the majority of people hate racism. And a big fraction of those motherfuckers are racist. Towards the people are, they claim are racist. But it's a claim. You can't claim someone's racist if there's literally no proof of racism. But I can claim you're one dumb son of a bitch because every time I get on the fucking internet, I see you being a stupid fucking human. You're trash. Get your fucking heads out of your ass. Quit pretending everyone's against you. If we band together as a nation, together, all little races, you know, white, Asian, black, fucking Mexican, Latino, because I believe there's a difference. At least I was told there was a difference by my idiot of a guide out in New Mexico. He just ended up being a piece of shit. He was a Mexican dude, but he was a piece of shit. Absolute piece of shit. His name's Greg Mace, if you ever want to pick on that dumb fucker. But that guy swore up and down there is a difference between Mexican and Latino. I didn't know. I'm from Indiana. I'm not near anyone, really, from there. So getting down there to New Mexico and talking, he swore there was a difference and was kind of pissed that I even suggested he was Mexican. <clears throat> For real, we've got to band together as a people, Americans, 
Doesn't matter where you're from, if you're born here, if you're a citizen here now, doesn't matter. If you are together, then we are together and we have to come together. Let's backtrack to the 1990 era where everybody got the fuck along. Movies were great. Comedy was great. You can have a little racism in comedy and it's funny. You don't have to be offended by it. It's more of a stereotype. Stereotypes are fucking funny. I make fun of white people constantly because I can't. I am one. I get to constantly say, fuck, that's white when I see somebody in a fucking sweater vest tied around their neck. It's fucking ignorant looking. So I make fun of it. That's what comedy is. What are you going to do? I just... I don't understand how the world has got so fucking stupid from politicians. How do you look at people like Joe Biden and Barack Obama and say, they make perfect fucking sense. There was a video that is now impossible to find of Joe Biden having to give a statement where he gave fellatio to Barack Obama in the back of a limo. I watched this video. It happened. It is gone. Because that will absolutely ruin that motherfucker's reputation. If sucking on kids' faces and sniffing them wasn't enough, which should have been, but, you know, the Democrats could do whatever they want because they run the country, because they've implanted themselves since 9-11, have planted themselves all through the government, and now control our country. When they got away with stealing the election, they immediately made a video about the riot, which I have people that were there, said it was nothing like it's portrayed on anything. It was no riot. They literally let people in. Here, come on in. These are police officers, guards, whatever. Come on in. There was no arguing. There was no fighting. There was no bullshit. Shit you see videos of is a lot of shit. It's lies. We've been lied to and lied to and lied to. And then they demonized every fucking patriot who knew we were all fucked. Every American who voted was fucking fucked. Right up our fucking asses. Because guess what? We're just the slaves, and they are going to make us do whatever they want us to do, regardless of what's right or wrong. It's about profit. That's it. Racism is bullshit. It is more or less a stupid fucking crutch that ignorant goddamn people use for excuses. That's it. Sadly, I can't use that, even though constantly people are being racist to me. But I don't fucking let it get to me. I don't let that determine how I'm going to portray a people, a group, a race. I don't look at them and go, all of you are this because this one person did this. That's not how this works. It's not. The majority of Good people in this world do not sit here and blame everyone else for their problems. They don't. If you have an issue, you work it out and you keep going. You can't sit on your fucking ass collecting welfare and fucking unemployment and all this shit because you want to. You can't. That is for people that need it. People that are truly, truly suffering. And it pisses me off that they steal money from me through taxes to give to people like that. You know how many people in this town have that kind of shit? That shit mentality? That fucking lazy bullshit? And guess what? They're white. It's fucking... It's stupidity. And the world will make it out to be... In a box, down to a T, this is what everything that's said is boiled into. And it's not. You can't just say, oh, welfare is for black people. You know how many times I've heard that? That, that all black people are on welfare and shit? You know who I hear it from? Politicians. Joe Biden. 
shit like that. Like when he said, uh, what was it, black people or, black people or something. Black people are what? We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids.